these guys make stents for your heart. Can't really see it, but this is a this is a heart stent here. And what it is, it's a it's a, uh, it's, a it's a single piece of wire that's been bent in a sine wave, and we wrap we wrap it around we wrap it around this uh, this mandrel here. And once you wrap it, you have to like basically fiber. We use a fiber laser this thing to goes, weld this it together. The robot actually will take it. Uh, we'll have a we'll have a tray of these. The robot will take it from the operator and load it into here. I wouldn't have this thing done, but uh, normally there would be a, a fiber. Uh, it's called a fiber laser, which uh, we spin this thing around and we use some cameras to but look and see where it's at. You've got like one piece of wire that's just that's been bent into a sine wave, and then they wrap it around this mandrel here. And we call them crowns. So whenever the uh, whenever the two sine waves on this on this mandrel are met, they kind of look like this, you know. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we've got some tiny little feet that we use in in uh, conjunction with a vision system. We'll take these little feet and we'll we'll put a foot like on this crown, a foot on this crown, and then we'll drive them. We'll force those two crowns together, okay, with our motion control system. That's not the robot. The robot's just loading the machine. Right. So we just have a tray of these because it's kind of hard for a person to stick this stuff in here. So we'll tray them up, and the robot will take them. You know, so it'll be like a – this is like pretty simple, but there's an infeed tray here. So the robot kind of takes it, places it – it'll chuck it up in here once it's chucked. Then the other motion control system, which is uh, – which is uh, it's a different uh, motion control system. It's called voice coils is what we use, it's like a, the same coils like in your stereo speaker. And these things will move within the micron level, you know, sub-micron actually. So once we've got the, the thing chucked up manual, we turn Put on our vision system thing around, and we can figure out where these crowns, where the primary crowns are, because there's like 400 little crowns, but there's only 40 weld points. So we have to figure out in space which of the crowns need to be welded together, because once you pull this thing off, you want it to just hold its shape. Because if you, if you do the wrong crowns, You'll, you'll take it off and it'll just be sprung out. It won't even be straight. Right. It'll be wrong. So. so this is all trig as well. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of math in this thing, actually. And it's yes. Yeah, and, and it's very. It's, it's heavy trigonometry, actually. I mean, we had, we had to work on that. And so you got to look at the sine to figure out the crowns that are going to get welded. They're going to well, be the peak of the sine waves. Well, what we do is yes. There's there's those. We find the peaks of the sine waves, but there's actually there's some special sine waves which are. Are got some different characteristics than the other ones, so there's some that are bent in some funny shapes. So first, we have to spin around and find those funny shapes are, and once we find the funny shape uh, uh, sine waves, we know where everything is on this mandrel, where all the other where all the other little crowns are. So, Just from the frequency of the wave. Yeah, and once we we can start spin this thing around, we can find exactly where the primary sine waves are that have to be welded together, and that's kind of the special thing that. Uh, uh, that this company has uh, has uh, designed as part of part of their uh, their uh, their their IP really is how the, how they can weld these things together. So how many people are working on this project? Uh, we've got about three or four people working on it. And what are we've they? Got a, we've got a technician, we've got a mechanical engineer, we've got a vision engineer, and um, we have a programmer. That's what we've got. So, so a technician has a two-year degree in mechatronics, or? Yes, uh, the technician is working on this. He has a two-year degree from Sierra College in mechatronics. So and the other... he's built, he's put this thing together. Okay, so what he has to do, he has to work with the engineer to basically build all this stuff, and then get it ready. He has to powers it on. So he's the guy that actually puts it on, gets it all ready to be powered up. And once uh, the technician says it's good to go, he calls the engineer. Engineer comes down. They both like turn it on. <laughs> so once you turn it on, you want to make sure everything's wired up correctly and everything. So um, yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's pretty key. Our engineers, I mean, they extensively, they use trigonometry, algebra, and geometry uh, quite a bit in their jobs. I mean, uh, we deal with a lot of physical stuff, a lot of different shapes and things, and we have to, like, move those shapes in space. And to align those shapes up to some kind of tooling that we're going to use, um, in your programming world, in your programming environment, you've got to know those math scales to be able to integrate those into your programs. So it's, it's pretty, pretty key. Guys that, guys that know the trig, know the spatial stuff, do well in this kind of work.